Just in time for the holiday season. Just in time for the holiday season. Boy, I am going to have a great Christmas this year, man. St. Nick has done it again. St. Nick has worked his magic and has advanced the Eagles past another test. You know, last week, that big test against the Rams, we, we passed that test. And now we passed another big test against the Houston Texans today. Humongous victory, man. The Eagles season is still very much alive, and the Eagles are still very much in the playoff picture. The Eagles getting a humongous win at home against the Houston Texans by a score of 32 to 30. Uh, a game-winning field goal by Jake Elliott, a 32-yard field goal. And the Eagles season is still very much alive, man. We got to have hope, Eagle fans. We got to keep our fingers crossed, man. Um, we Right now, the Eagles, the, the, it's very clear right now. The Eagles have to win the following week as well against the Washington Redskins and get a little bit of help. You know, it sucks that we're in that position that we have to get help from other teams, but we did it to ourselves, man. We shot ourselves in the foot. You know, we lost a lot. We lost a good, a good bit of games that we should have won this year. But it is what it is. That's in the past, man. Right now, we have to make sure that we win our last game against the Washington Redskins um, next week, which which will, which will put our record at nine and seven, and then um, get a little help. Um, we got we got two realistic you no know, two scenarios I see right now. Uh, we got we got a root for the Kansas City Chiefs to beat the uh, Seattle Seahawks, and I think the Seahawks have to have to lose their last game as well. If that happens, then the Eagles will steal their playoff spot. Also, um, you know we have another we have another we have another scenario. Um, if we win next week and then the, and then the Minnesota Vikings lose to the Chicago Bears, we're in the playoffs because of that. So. Right now, pretty much we gotta root for the Chiefs. We gotta root for the um, the Bears next week. You know, either one of those happen, then we um, then we then we you know if either one of those scenarios happen, then we're in the playoffs. So, but right now, man, I'm just celebrating. I'm happy as hell right now. Nick Foles doing his thing, man. Nick Foles doing his thing. Um, Nick Foles played very very well. He went out for a little bit, but came right back in there, man, and worked this magic. And, and for the time being, at least, our season is saved. Let me say this to uh, uh, my fellow Eagle fans, man. Yeah, we, we just passed the two biggest tests with the Rams and the Texans. But don't think for a second that the Washington Redskins are going to be an easy cakewalk win. Don't think that for a second, man. Those are the teams that you have to watch out for the most. The teams that are not playing for anything, that want to play spoiler for you. They're, of course, they're our division rival. Of course, they want to play spoiler for us. So... Don't think for a second that um, the Washington Redskins game, that we don't have to take them seriously, that we're going to walk in there in a cakewalk victory. Don't think that. Those are the teams you have to watch out for the most. The teams that are, that are not going anywhere, that don't, they're not playing for anything, they have nothing to lose. So I just want to send a warning out there to my fellow Eagle fans, man. Don't take the Washington Redskins lightly. Because, you know, those are the teams that have nothing to lose that you have to watch out for the most. Those are the teams that want to play spoiler. So... We, we got to be focused, man. We got to do our thing. We got to make sure we, we, we handle our business and get the win against the um, the Redskins next week and get a little bit of help, you know. Get, um, let's pray to God. Cross our fingers, man. Pray that it all goes our way and we're able to get into the playoffs. But like I said, man, right now, I'm happy as hell, man. Um, you know, we just passed two major tests, man. The Rams and then now the Houston Texans this week. Two humongous tests, um, tests that we passed, man. And I'm going to go ahead and say this because I know some Eagle fans are not going to like what I got to say here, but I don't care. It has to be said, man. If Carson Wentz was out there right now with, with his condition right now, we would have lost to the Rams, I think, and we would have lost to the fucking Houston Texans. I hate to say that. You know, I, I know a lot of people are going to be upset about me saying that, but but I'm just keeping it real, man. The, you, you, will, you have to be blind, like Stevie Wonder blind. You, you have to be Stevie Wonder blind right now to not see the spark that Nick Foles has brought to this offense, man. It's a completely different offense, a completely different team when Nick Foles out there. He's lit a spark on this team, man, and this team is looking the way they should have been looking all year. They right now, right now, they're looking like the defending Super Bowl champions. So, um, you will have to be blind not to be able to see, no, not not to see that right now. They're looking like they are looking right now like defending Super Bowl champions. Um, I'm praying to God, cross my fingers, that it's not too little, too late. I'm praying that he's on he's on our side next week and we are able to get to the playoffs. But yeah, 
when Nick, when Carson Wentz out there, we, uh, we, 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 we'll be out of playoff picture right now with the way he's been playing all year and with the injuries. Just keeping it real. Uh, let me go over these stats for this game real quick. Um, and then, of course, I, I, you know, I come back and tell you what I think and wrap this video up. So let's just go over the stats real quick, the Eagle stats. Um, let's see. Like I said, old St. Nick. Old St. Nick had a great game. A very, very good game. Um, Nick Foles was 35 for 49, 471 yards passing. He had four touchdowns, one interception, but other than that, man, Nick Foles, bravo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Great game, Nick Foles. Um, let's see. Russian running the football. Um, Darren Sproles was, had nine carries for 32 yards. He averaged 3.6 yards a carry. Josh Adams had 11 carries for 21 yards. He averaged 1.9 yards a carry. Josh Adams, before I say this, man, before I continue, hold on to the goddamn football, man. You you found the football, you found the football that gave the, 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 the Texas life and nearly cost us the damn game. Hold on to that damn football, Josh Adams. Hold on to the football. Um, let's see. Wendell Smallwood. Wendell Smallwood had one carry, uh, one carry for three yards. Um, Nick Foles ran one time for um, one time for one yard. Uh, receiving, receiving. Um, receiving, um, Nelson Aguilar, five ca catches for 116 yards. He had a one, he had, a, he had one touchdown, which was like, which was a beautiful 83 yard bomb for Nick Foles. Um, a huge 83 yard touchdown reception. Um, Zach Ertz, congratulations, man, becoming the, um, for having the most catches by a tight end in a season in NFL history. Congratulations to you, Zach Ertz. Very well deserving. You are, you are definitely showing that you're one of the best tight ends in the game and why the rest of the NFL uh, needs to put respect to your name. Um, but yeah, Zach Ertz, 12 catches for 110 yards, two touchdowns. Beautiful. Great job, Zach Ertz. Great game by you. Um, Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey. Oh, I forgot to say, um, Zach Ertz also had two touchdown receptions uh, reception in this game. Great game, Zach Ertz. Um... Alshon Jeffrey had three catches for 82 yards. Um, Darren Sproles had three catches for 76 yards, including a touchdown reception on fourth and second, I believe. It was a 36-yard touchdown catch, something like that. No big play by Darren Sproles. Um, Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard had three catches for 30 yards. Wendell Smallwood had four catches for 24 yards. Golden Tate had two catches for 13 yards. Jordan Matthews had two catches for 13 yards. Um, Richard Rogers had one catch for seven yards. Josh Adams had um, Josh Adams had um, um, uh, one yard on catch. Going on down to the defense, let's look at the um, defensive stats. Um, defensive stats. Um, Rasul Douglas had eight, eight. Yeah, Rasul Douglas had eight, um, eight tackles, one tackle assist, one tackle for a loss. Um, Corey Graham had four tackles. Malcolm Jenkins had four tackles, one tackle assist. Um, Nigel Brown had three tackles, three tackle assists. Jordan Hicks had three tackles, two tackle assists. Trey Sullivan, three tackles. Uh, Avante Maddox, three tackles, one tackle assists. He also had a um, half a sack. Yeah, also had half a sack. Um, Chris Long had two tackles, two uh, yeah, two tackles, two uh, two sacks, and a tackle for a loss. So very very good contribution there by. Chris Long, that was you no know, very good, you no know, very good game for Chris Long. Um, Timmy Jernigan, big man Timmy. Timmy had two tackles. He had um, one tackle, um, one tackle for a loss. Um, Trayvon Hester had two tackles. Uh, he had one sack and he had one tackle for a loss. Brandon Graham, Brandon Graham had one tackle. Um, Deshaun Hall had um, one tackle, one tackle assist, half a sack. Um, uh, Michael Bennett had one tackle assist. Fletcher Cox, one tackle assist. Um, yeah, that was defensive stats. Now kicking, kicking. Jake Elliott was uh, two for two. His long was a um, was a 47 yard field goal. He was two for three on extra points. He made he missed a pretty big one that should that he, that should have put the Eagles up um, 30 to 23. And of course, we all know the, the Texans came back and briefly took the lead because of that. But overall, uh, Jake Elliott, no, not 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 a bad game. I wish that we could push the extra points for Jake Elliott back to like back to like the 30 something plus yard line because you know he he struggles with these extra points but he, he can kick it a mile away. 
I wish we could push him back on the damn extra points too, man. But yeah, I can't complain right now, man. I can't complain. The Eagles right now are they're this close, this close right now to earning a playoff berth, man. We just got to handle our business against Houston next week. Got to handle our business against Houston. Oh, excuse me, I guess I'm Washington. Sorry about that. We got to handle our business against Washington and get a little bit of help. If we can get that help, if God is on our side, pray. If God is on our side, man, the Eagles may very well get to the playoffs. And like I said, man, I knew, I know that, you know, what I, just, what I said earlier about Carson Wentz, I know that that's going to piss a lot of people off, but I really don't care. Uh, it, it, the truth is the truth, man. Right now, there's just a different aura about this team, a whole different um, energy of spark with this team right now with Nick Foles out there. I don't give a damn who's that quarterback, man. I don't. I love Carson, but right now, all I care about is winning. That's all I give a damn about. If Carson is not um, playing, if he's not healthy, he's not 100%, which he clearly wasn't this year, he don't need to be out there. Right now, Nick Foles clearly gives us the best. He gives us the best chance to win, and that's all I care about. I don't care who's on the center. I just care about who's going to give us the best chance to win. And it's so obvious right now that that guy right now is um is Nick Foles. It's that simple. You stay with the hot hand. I know Carson Wentz said that he wants to come back this year, but no, no. I don't care how far the season go. I don't care if it ends next week. But I pray the guy does, and I pray that we go into the playoffs, and you know we'll see. But I don't care where it ends at. You got to stay with the hot hand right now. And right now the hot hand is obviously Nick Foles. Nick Foles brings a spark, and energy, and aura to this team that they have not had for most of the year, man. Um, I seriously doubt if Carson Wentz would start right now, we would have beat the Rams. Or we would have beat Houston today. I seriously doubt we would have. I I'm just keeping it real. I seriously doubt we would have beat either one of the teams right now. With, with Carson Wentz dealing with that with that back fracture. But yeah, man. Eagles getting a huge, humongous win against the Houston Texans. Passing another huge test. A huge test, man. Uh, passing another huge test, man. But we got to go out there, handle our business against the Redskins, finish the regular season with a 9-7 record, and pray to the man above that he's on our side and we are able to get to the playoffs. You know, Big win, 30 to 30 to 20, uh, um, 30 um, to 29 victory against the Houston Texans. A last second uh, field goal against the, um, um, by Jake Elliott, 32 yard field goal against the Texans. Eagles advance to, um, the Eagles are now at um, eight and seven for the season. Um, regardless of what happens for the rest of this year, we, we already have, we, we're not gonna have a losing season. That was my, that was my biggest fear that we, we were gonna have a losing season. No matter what happens, even if we lose against the Redskins last week, pray to God next week, pray to God it's not going to happen. But we still not going to finish with a losing record. That's the one good thing. But I don't, I don't want to just finish with an even season. I want to finish the regular season with a nine-seven record and see what happens in the playoffs. You know, see if see if we can get to the playoffs. See what happens with the other teams. You know, I just want to, I, I just want to finish out the season, the regular season on a high note. And pray to God that everything goes well and we're able to get to the playoffs. That's that's what that's that's my focus right now. You know, big victory, big big victory. Saint Nick came through like he came through clutch um, when when we needed him, man. And he saved our season at least for this week, man. But I'm gonna say this again, my fellow Eagle fans. I'm gonna say this again. Do not, I repeat, do not, um, do not count that Redskins game as an easy victory that we're just gonna go out there and. and and dominate the Redskins. No, don't count that as an easy victory, especially not. Cause I believe that that game is gonna be is gonna be played on the road in Washington. I believe it. So, yeah, don't count that as an easy victory, cause it's not. We have to we have to take we have to take them very seriously because those are the teams that you have to worry about the most. The teams that are playing for nothing. They 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 they, they have nothing to lose at this point, man. Their season is over. They would love for us to be right there on the couch with them. They know we're playing for something, so they're going to go out there. I expect them to go out there and play their best game. They know we're playing for something, and they're going to want to try to ruin that for us. So don't take them lightly whatsoever, man. We have to be focused. The, 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 um, the players, the team, they got to be focused, man. Don't take the Redskins lightly. Don't sleep on them. Like, like I said, those teams that are playing for nothing, they are the teams that you have to be the most uh, concerned about. So let's enjoy this win, everybody. Have a happy holidays, man. You know damn well I'm gonna have one. This is this is the only only thing I want for Christmas. 
was the Eagles playoff berth, and I'm praying to God I still get that. But you know, this is a good, this is a good step in the right direction, man. Uh, it allows me to have a pretty good holidays, man, knowing that the Eagles are still very much alive in the playoffs, man. Um, come on, Chiefs, beat, beat the damn Seahawks today, this evening. Um, we need the we need the Bears to beat the Vikings um, next week. Come on, Bears, let's go Bears next week. Uh, we'll see what happens, man. You know, but. Very, very good, um, a very good Christmas present for me right now. Um, I spent, you know, Christmas, the Eagles, you know, a, a great a great Christmas present, a win against Houston. But it, it'd be even better if the Eagles can beat the Redskins next week and then um, get in the playoffs with some help. But, but we'll see, man. Let's just enjoy this win. Happy holidays to um, all my subscribers. God bless you guys and your family uh, on this holiday season. I wish you guys, you know, I wish you guys the best of the best holiday possible, man. God bless all of you guys, man. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But all, as always, go birds, go the Chiefs for t for the day, go the Bears next week, and we'll see what happens. As always, fly go fly. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's a great feeling right now. Thank you, Satan Nick, for making my Christmas holiday um, a great Christmas holiday. Thank you. Let, let, let's let's keep this thing going, man. Let's get this win next week against the, the Redskins, and let's see what happens. But but as always, go birds. Um, Spunky Nights Night One is out. Fly Eagle Fly. Peace.